This is Physics 1. This is Chapter 2, Section 2, and this is the third and final part of this section. We're dealing with velocity and displacement with a constant acceleration. Let's go ahead and look at a problem here, practice problem. So 94 human-powered submarine was designed in Florida, achieved a maximum speed of 3.06 meters per second. Suppose this submarine starts from rest and accelerates at 0.800 meters per second squared until it reaches its maximum speed. The submarine then travels at a constant speed for another 5 seconds and we want to calculate the total distance traveled by the submarine. So we're going to start off by listing our givens. What is it we're given in the problem? Uh, we have an initial velocity because it tells us that we start from rest, so we have an initial velocity of 0 meters per second. We have a final velocity of 3.06 meters per second. We also have an acceleration, 0 0.800 meters per second squared. And we have a change in time of 5 seconds. And we're going to call this change in time sub 2. five seconds. And what do we want to find? We're asked to find the total distance traveled. Total distance traveled uh, is equal uh, to some value in meters, right? So I'm going to start off by using acceleration is equal to a change in <coughs> excuse me, velocity divided by change in time. I'm going to rearrange this equation to solve for change in time 1. So the formula I'm going to end up using is going to be delta t sub 1 equal to the final velocity minus initial velocity divided by the acceleration. So I'll plug in my values. My final velocity that I've got here, 3.06 meters per second squared. Subtracting out my initial velocity of 0 meters per second squared divided by the acceleration. And product of this is going to be 3.82 seconds. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pick one of my other equations that I've utilized in the previous section that fits my given data or what is, what is it I want to find. So I want to find distance I have to find my first distance and I can find my second distance. So uh, my first distance is going to be this information here. So I'm going to use this equation. So this is distance one. This is equal to VI delta T sub two, no, sub one, sorry. adding this to one half acceleration delta t sub one squared and when I plug my information in here I end up going well zero times 3.82 which is still zero so basically what I've got is one half my acceleration times 3.82, which was my new time, square that. Solve for this, I get 5.84 meters. 
Now I'm going to solve for my second distance. So velocity equals distance divided by time. Rearranging that equation. Change in uh, distance is final velocity times time. And this is time 2. Oops. So velocity again, 3.06 meters per second times 5 seconds. And I get 15.3 meters. So my total distance is basically the sum of distance 1 plus distance 2. So 5.84 meters plus 15.3 meters gives me a final answer of 21.1 .1 meters.